Hey, in the previous video, um, I was showing you guys that I was do creating a low poly wireframe on top of my high, um, high poly head from ZBrush. So I just finished and this is what my character looks like. So I was thinking, why not make another video? So in this next, uh, my next step for this character is going to be uh, creating UVs. So I'm going to um, unwrap the uh, head and I was just thinking as far as the UVs are concerned, I'll probably make the uh, the sci-fi suit to be one texture and then create the head to be a separate texture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually select my suit, create a new layer and just hide it. And now I'm going to select my suit, press F on my keyboard and kind of zoom in. And let's go ahead and take a look at my uh, UVs so far. So this is what uh, it's looking like um, from me creating the uh, custom low poly, um, re, you know, doing the uh, ray topology as we did in our last video. So um, to get started, the first thing I'm going to do that I like to do personally is just go to, uh, let's see, go to modeling and then go to UVs, planar. And what I'd like to do is just do a projection from the front. So I'm not looking at something uh, this ugly. All right, so I'm going to press apply. All right, so now I have this. I'm going to press W and move this aside. And now piece by piece, I'm just going to begin to unwrap this uh, head so I can bring it into Substance Painter for painting and uh, baking. Okay, so the first step is going to be uh, just simply what I'm going to do is I'm going to start breaking this character up into pieces, right? And let's go ahead and begin. So I'm going to zoom in and I do have my um, symmetry on. So I'm going to hold down the shift key and just simply select the uh, eyes. So something like this uh, is good. I'm going to project it from the front, go to my UV uh, toolkit here, and I'm going to do an unfold. And it's yelling at me, so I'm going to say fix. And let's see, let's do another unfold. And let's go ahead and go to arrange layout and do stack similar. And if that doesn't work, obviously it's because we need to, uh, let's turn off our symmetry for a second. And what I need to do is actually flip this. Um, I'm going to go to transform and I'm just going to flip this around. Now, if I select both of them and go back down to stack similar, you could see that they are overlapping. And since the eye is exactly the same, I can go ahead and overlap my UVs, right? So I'm going to press W and move it aside. Now, since this is done, what I like to do um, is I like to hide the parts that I already did. So I have a button here called Hide Selected. And if you don't have that, that's under Display, Hide, Hide Selection. So I'm just going to press my button. And once I do, you can see that the eyes are hidden, right? Making me uh, know that I already unwrapped this part. So now I can focus on the rest. So the next thing I would like to do is maybe I'm going to turn my symmetry back on and I'm just going to grab these horns, hold down the shift key, press period on my keyboard to grow my selection. And I'm going to project that. Um, and you know what? I'm going to press this button here, keep the ratio. So I'm going to press apply again and this time it looks at least proportionate, right? I'm going to press W and move it aside. And now what I'd like to do is grab these guys and let's do the same thing. Just kind of try to get all of them all at once. All right, so I have a total of uh, five. And now I can go ahead and grab these. So what I like to do is just piece by piece 
um, kind of focus on essentially taking something sort of complex, right, and breaking it into little tiny uh, parts or elements. So if I look at the entire head, this looks a little bit overwhelming, especially when it comes to UVs. But if I only focus on one tiny thing, like the horn, well, then it's pretty simple. It's just a cone, right? So essentially, that is what I'm trying to do. And let's go ahead and see if we can just unwrap this all at once. I'm just going to unfold it. And I have something like this. This should work. I'm going to see if I can fl uh, turn off my symmetry, flip this over, select both of them, and let's do a stack. OK. I'm going to press W and move it aside. And once again, I'm going to hide. All right, so that takes care of that. Uh, let's go ahead and now I do have some more down here, but I'm going to do them in a minute. I'm going to do the lips next. I'm going to now you can just double click as well. If you click at the end and then um, find the uh, kind of the end piece of your loop, uh, that should work. All right, I'm going to project that on Z as well and do unfold, press W, move it aside, and hide. All right, maybe uh, the next thing could be. Maybe we should do the, uh, I'll do the ears next. So I'm going to click, make sure my symmetry is on. I'm going to click on the middle of the year and just hold on the shift key. I'm just going to grow my selection uh, to something like this and grow it one more time. And I'm just going to keep on checking these and grow it again. Essentially, I'm just trying to grab as much of the inside of the ear as possible. And I know this is kind of, uh, once again, a little bit tedious and boring, but it's not too bad if you just kind of try to have fun with it and try to figure out where, where would be the best place to create seams and then it turns into a little bit of a puzzle, right? So now I'm going to select my ear real quick. And maybe grab these polygons as well. All right, so that sort of takes care of the inside of the year pretty um, pretty well. Um, I'm going to project and unfold. All right, let's take a look. If we wanted to, we can turn on our grid, right? And we can see inside the uh, ear, how does that actually, how's it looking? You want to make sure that you have squares everywhere showing you that there is no stretching or anything strange. So this is the part I'm currently looking at. And that looks pretty good. So I'm going to turn this off. And again, same process. Grab my symmetry, flip it, and do a stack. Stack similar, press W, move it aside, and hide. All right. Now maybe we can do the, the back, or I guess the rest of the year, right? I could press uh, F if I wanted to, kind of uh, zoom in a little better. I can hold down Control and Shift and add to my selection. So that's kind of a clever way to quickly select. Um, polygons as well. And I think Let's grab this guy as well. 
I think that kind of takes care of the whole back side of my uh, ear. I'm going to project. Oh, make sure the uh, symmetry is on because I want to make sure it's on both sides. Let's project it, unfold it, and flip it, stack it, and move it, and then hide it. So as you can see, it's the same uh, process. And I could see that I actually missed something here. Now this is interesting. Uh, if you uh, miss something, let's go ahead and turn symmetry back on. So how do we add this piece that, that I just missed to this uh, little selection, right? So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to unhide all hold down the shift key and select the pieces that um, I already unwrapped and do this one more time. I'm going to, I'm going to reproject them and then unfold them. Right. And this time I made a mistake because it's actually grabbing the front and the back. So I'm going to control Z and I'm not happy with uh with that right so i don't really want to to do that what i need to do is let's unhide this again i only want the front ones so that is what i need and let's take a look at the back ones So somehow I'm missing the piece that um, I'm gonna I'm gonna um, hide this. I'm trying to figure out where's the the little guy that I missed. I think it's this guy here. All right, so let's try this one more time. So you see what I just did? I just selected the piece that I was missing, and then I selected only the back. Uh, part of the ear and reproject, unfold, and I think this time it should work. Flip it. So you see the reason I'm not editing this out is because it's a process. It's like a game. You have to keep going back and forth until it looks right or until it works. So I'm going to select all these pieces and now I can hide my selection. So uh, that is what I was looking for. All right, so that looks pretty good. Um, now, the next thing before we unwrap the whole head, I think the only other thing that I would like to include as a separate element is uh, these horns here. So I'm going to let's see if I can hold on control and shift and select these. And maybe grow my selection. And now I'm going to need to select this manually, right? And then uh, let's go ahead and project it and unfold it. No, I can't overlap these because these are obviously different. So I'm going to go ahead and hide them. All right, so I'm left with uh, something like this. I kind of took off all the pieces that I thought could be separate. So I'm pretty happy with this. I think the rest is pretty simple. I'm just going to make a cut on the back of his head. Uh, let's grab these edges all the way up to, let's to go all the way to the top of his head. Maybe even a little higher. All right, so something like this should work. Now I'm going to come here and I need to find cut. So I'm going to do a cut. And then once I made the seam, I can select all of my uh, polygons and just do an unfold. All right. So then you can see the whole face kind of unfolded and it looks a little bit scary, but it should work. We can even, if we wanted to come down here and do, um, 
orient shell so that will kind of straighten it out. Now another thing that I like to do once I finish unfolding everything is I like to um, select one of the pieces and maybe let's get out of uh, symmetry. Select one of the pieces and then come here to uh, tools and under uh, textile density if I say get I can see that this piece here is 21.1263 in density, right? Which means I can grab all of, uh, let's see, these pieces, we're gonna have to deal with them in a minute, but grab the rest, let's go ahead and unhide everything, first of all, which is under display, show, show all, that's what my button here is. So I'm going to select all of these and I'm going to match the density. So I'm going to say instead of get, I'm going to say set. And you can see how everything kind of becomes the same proportions, right? And once you do this, the cool thing is if you turn this on, you can see how, let's press F. Uh, that didn't work, but you can see how uh, the UVs, right? look on the face and you want to make sure that there's no stretching or anything weird because when you bring this into substance painter and you begin to paint this is how well your paint is going to look so it's going to um, look really nice because everything is the same density right same kind of a resolution nothing is stretched you see that everything is kind of boxy and all the grid is square and this is exactly what you kind of want to go for um, when you finish. You want to make sure that it looks something like this. Alright, so now since I'm happy with this, the next step would be uh, let's go ahead and select all of these guys. And, you know, there's not that many pieces. We can actually manually pack them in. And to do that, essentially you just want to focus on this square here, which is called one-to-one. -one. So if I just simply press W, I can move I can make this guy as large as possible. So uh, obviously he's more wide than height. Um, he has more width than height. So then I could see that there's a little bit of space here. So I'm gonna press R and just kind of stretch him out a little bit. Just make sure I don't go, don't go over these lines here. And the rest is pretty simple. I'm just gonna manually drag these into empty uh, spots, right? And that's one way of doing it. Um, if you don't want to do it manually, you can do it uh, automatically by going to Modify, Layout, click on Options, and you can change some of these options. Uh, here's what mine look like. Usually you want to create a little padding, texture map size, you know, you can adjust that. But then if you say Apply, it will automatically take as many all your pieces and pack them into the into this spot, which is uh, very cool and handy if you have a lot of pieces, but in in my case right now, I don't really have that many elements, so I don't really mind manually uh, placing these. Now these little pieces, I'm aware that they're just parts of here, and I can uh, sew them back together in a minute, but I'm not sure I want to do it in this video. Essentially, you just want to select them and place them back into this little uh, spot there. But for the sake of this video, I'm trying to kind of go uh, faster. And... This is pretty much it. This is what the final uh, UV uh, looks like and you can see where the seams are, right? Maybe I could have done a better job hiding this seam here, but I'm not too concerned because this is gonna be probably a solid uh, solid color there, so it's, it's it should be fine. And then the, uh, the other seam is in the back of his head, and you can see there's no seams in front on his actual face, which is really nice. Nothing on his neck. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. I think this is going to look really cool. And um, so I wanted to make this video and see if I can shine some light on how I do UVs and what my, what my uh, process is. And maybe you learned uh, a trick or two and maybe it will help you in uh, your work. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.